In this demonstration, we are going to be showing how to test internal and external shoulder rotation manual muscle testing strength in the prone position. Your patient should be prone, ideally with a head cradle or face place to support their head so it's not turned to one side, and ideally with their feet supported if you have a table that's not long enough, but you have to work with what you have. You should put a towel roll underneath the distal humerus, not the proximal humerus because that'll um, create a weird angle. You want your shoulder in the scaption plane, so not quite to the side, just slightly forward to the side. And if the patient is able, shoulder abduction to 90 degrees. In this position, I'm going to first show you the external rotation strength testing for grades three or higher. And then I will show you the internal rotation strength for grades three or higher out of five. So Corey, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be raising your wrist up here like this. Let me help you so you can see. Normally I test the uninvolved side first, but for purposes of demonstration, we're only doing the involved side. We're gonna raise your arm up like this. Let me help so you can see what we're gonna do. Good, and bring it back down. The biggest compensation that will happen is the patient's arm will slide this way. So be very mindful to keep it stabilized as close to 90 as the patient has without allowing the shoulder blade to pop up or allowing the spine to twist. So we're gonna be taking this arm up, 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 up. Great. I'm going to test for passive range. Active equals passive. That tells me I have at least a three out of five right now. Can you hold your arm in this position, please? Watch for compensation. Now I'm going to apply pressure here near the wrist in a downward rotational force. Mild pressure, moderate, then max. Mild pressure testing for three plus. Moderate testing for four. Max testing for five. Go ahead and bring that back down. Assisting your patient back to the starting position. I'm also going to show the internal rotation strength testing while we are in this prone position. So I'm just going to reposition the towel so it's fully supportive because we don't want the humerus rolling off the towel when we are testing. Now we're going to take the towel right here and the arm the other way. Stabilizing here at the humerus. Corey, we're going to go the other way this time. So we're going to bring the arm up this way and then bring it back down. Can you do that all by yourself? So active, and you saw compensation here. So now I'm going to stabilize here and here. Let's do that again by yourself. Can you hold it up there? Okay, just hold it right there, okay? Now I'm going to see if that equals passive, and it does. So now I'm going to apply pressure to test. Three plus, four, and five. Good, and bringing it back down. So those are your higher manual muscle testing grades with the brake testing for shoulder external and internal rotation in prone. Now, if your client does not have that amount of strength, they might demonstrate something less. So let's say on external rotation, we are trying to bring the arm up this way, but Corey only gets a little more than 50%. A little more, show me a little more. So I didn't earn my three, so I got a three minus. Now, if I have less than 50% of his motion, then he only earned a two plus. If I don't have that much without compensation, then I test in a gravity minimized position. The same for internal rotation. So let's say we're going the other way. Let's go that way this time. Sometimes I get in here with what I call the arm bar, just to help keep the shoulder blade down and keep the humerus in the right position. So let's say I got a little more than 50%. There we go. So in that case, that did not earn the full three, that's a three minus. Let's say I have less than that two plus, and if I don't even have that, then I go and test in gravity minimized position for a two. Now we're going to demonstrate our gravity minimized position. 